Hello guys and welcome back to Get Set Python. In our previous video of dynamic web scraping, we saw that we got this error that is none type object has no attribute find all. This means that this div that we tried to find on the website was not available. And the solution to this problem is dynamic web scraping and you can see that with just few changes in our previous script we can convert a normal web scraping script to dynamic web scraping script so first of all let's discuss what dynamic web scraping is in normal web scraping we send an http request to the website and get the page source and then we will convert it into soup object and find the elements. Now, if the site is JavaScript rendered, that is, the elements on the website is provided by JavaScript, then sending an HTTP request won't fetch us the data. So, in dynamic web scraping, we will first let the website load fully and then we will get the page source and hence all the data is loaded first and then it is scraped so this is dynamic scraping that is loading the website first plus normal web scraping it's as simple as that so without wasting any time let's get started so let me copy this code that we wrote in our previous script and we will paste it here now actually there was a little typo here so let's correct it it's date not data now for dynamic web scraping we require selenium web driver and if you don't know how to use it you can watch the automation playlist in the same channel and get started with it so from selenium import web driver now what we have to do is we have to create a driver so driver is equal to web driver dot chrome or firefox so for chrome you need to have chrome driver installed on your pc and for firefox you need to have gecko driver and here you can pass the path if it's not set default well I have set it default so I'm skipping this part now as we send an HTTP request using this thing we will open the URL using driver.get and we will pass this URL here so let me comment out this thing now it will open the URL for you and then we can get our response using driver dot execute script and in the arguments here you have to pass return document dot document element dot outer html and this will give you page source of the website after loading it fully so previously resource text would be our page source now it is just res because this is the same page source that was available in res.txt but after loading the website fully now we can quit the driver if we want so driver dot quit and this will close the window that was open in chrome here now let's try 
to run this script once more and you can see that it opened a chrome window here and this same URL is opened here now let's wait for it and you can see that we got all the elements but we don't want this part we want text part of all these things so writing dot text will give me the text element present inside it well you may find that selenium is a bit slower than beautiful soup but since we want to script dynamically we have to bear this shortage and let's maximize this and you can see that we got all the data but you will find that there are some unwanted spaces and new lines here so we can use replace function to replace all the new lines with this empty string and we can then use strip function to strip any extra space present here so let's try to paste this thing here now let's run it again and this time we got all our data but since it's not formatted nicely let me make some changes so I am passing this thing in enumerate function and what it will do is it will pass you two things first will be count or you can say serial number and second will be our hackathon and the serial number will start from one so in first line we will print serial number and then h type and in the next line we will pass our name of hackathon and in the third line we will pass date and then we will print an empty line now let's try to run it again and see how it works well I could have printed all the things in same line but that will make things more complex so let's see how it will work and on maximizing you can see that we got 13 results and if we try to compare it with the script or the website here these are the upcoming challenges with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 13 challenges. And you can see that the 13th one is hiring challenge, far eye developer hiring challenge starting on February 24th, 11 a.m. IST. And the 12th challenge here is the same one present here. So we successfully scraped this website for all the upcoming challenges that we wanted so this is how dynamic web scraping works let me just remind you once again what dynamic web scraping is dynamic web scraping is loading the website fully and then scraping the website normally as we wanted so we did these four changes or actually five changes starting from here till here in our previous script and the normal web scraping script got converted into dynamic web scraping so that's how easy it is to scrape dynamically i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next one till then stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python